ESPN College Football Primetime, presented by Hampton Hotel. It's going to be loud here. Trendon Holiday, a guy they want to kick away from, number eight, is back with Keelan Williams. So expect the ball to go to the near side. And don't want any part of Trendon Holiday. Williams at the 11. 30. And out of bounds around the, with this field position. Four wideouts, three-man rush. They drop eight into coverage. Hatch has nowhere to go. Got away from Cinderic Marks. And a man over three. It's too loud down here. The fans have got to get better. But we'll explain that, why that is a problem, particularly for this Auburn team, Holly. Good point. Shoemaker is punting, we're told, because Durst has been under the weather. That may be interference with a fair catch. I don't see a flag, but I did see a beanbag, meaning the ball was loose. And it's a matter of who came up with it. There was no flag, but the beanbag came out to indicate that the ball was fumbled or muffed. Guy has to have a chance to catch LSU it. LSU ball. Get him out of the game. Holiday's a sprinter. Hatch. Nice cut by Hatch across the 33rd and 13. Draw, Scott. Down to the 28, and you're in the area right now where you've got the very stingy defense. Dolphrey is the holder. Colt David. Got it. Bodies. Todd, better protection this time. Right down the middle. And a perfect strike to Rod Smith. That's what protection will do for a quarterback who is an act. Auburn so far on third down has not done well. And now Todd rolls away from pressure. And throws at a receiver wide open. And that's complete to the backup tight end, Tim Hoffel. Big play for Auburn. Just inside the 35-yard line. Tate off the right side. Got a block, turned the corner. Tate to the 20. In offense, they haven't done this in the first three ball games. Eric Smith, the up back. Tate is the eye back. Tate dives, touchdown. Extra loud because they didn't score one of those last week over in Starkville. They won three to two. Lee take a shot down the field. Lee gives it to Scott again. Burst straight up the middle. <laughs> or just let him rip right yeah. through the defense. How about that? That'll work too. Jarrett Lee goes to the shotgun. Four-man rush. Good protection intended for LaFell. He was in the middle of that 46. Low line drive. Never had a chance. It failed. Todd with time. Lays it up. Badly overthrown and intercepted. He threw it right into the arms of Chris Hawkins. You know, they've had a couple times. I am sorry you're not wearing that hat. Look good on you. Lee running away from pressure. Throws. Tremendous coverage incomplete. Third down situation for Auburn. Third and two. Run pass threat both. Quarterback keeper. Boy, now, I don't know about a quarterback draw as a call, not with him. Well, you're hoping to fool he's still in. Now he's in a definite pass situation because of a two minute. It's going to come back, though, because it was an illegal substitution by Auburn. They had a man run onto the field late. Oh, what a killer. I think this one's going to come back after the mistake by Jarrett Lee was preceded by a mistake from the Auburn sideline. And Jarrett Lee trying to explain what happened. Illegal shift. I get that last year. Yeah. 
Well, the shift is what got the penalty. The fact that the defender ran on late, he wasn't the 12th guy, so it's not a penalty. He was the 11th guy. He just wasn't on the field. He's allowed to run out there. If he would have been a 12th guy coming out, it would have been a penalty on Auburn. As it was, the touchdown stands. Oh, that's remarkable. The point after. Lee comes in and goes to the shotgun. Throws right over the middle and a good yes. strike. Nice pass. Got the tight end, Richard Dick. Blitz. Good protection hit as he throws. Touchdown! Wow! Holy cow, he got it to Mitchell. What a job by Larry Jarrett Lee because he was bombed. He hung in there. Andrew Hatch even understands what was going on there. He's still blinking on the sideline. The point after makes it in a pick. That drive 55. Oh, they got it. An onside kick. And wow. Jai Eugene comes up with it. What a call and what execution. You don't think there's a little riverboat gambler in Les Miles? Going deep again, this one well overthrown, incomplete, intended Boy. for Boyd. And no matter what kind of offensive scheme you run, that doesn't work. Man wide open, the pass knocked away at the last minute. Well, he caught it. Holy <laughs> cow, so how did that get through? Second and ten. LSU comes with a run blitz. Tate. Good hard run down to the 34. Play action. Todd looking for Davis. Then throws deeper downfield and it's intercepted. LSU did a great job to make sure that wasn't going to work. And guess who? They How about that? How about break up the Commodores? Lee. What a catch! LaFell went high to pull it in. We get a look at Hatch, who's up and walking around. Lee, good play fake. Right down the middle, LaFell again to the 21. So right now. LSU driving half. Oh my goodness. Pass. Man's oh, wide open and touchdown. Keelan hands of Demetrius Bird. The pass by Keelan Williams. Boy, you're right. What a call. The kick is good. Unless you're trying to keep this drive going. Tate in the flat. And Tate was trying to make a move before he had the catch because he could see. Second. Scott again. Pounds his way out to the third. I'll bet it's a 300-pounder in waiting, I'm telling you. You're going to wake up one morning. And LSU. Seller with Auburn tailgaters, too. Uh -huh. a neat little place. Scott. Nice cut. Oh, my goodness. Scott down to the 21-yard line. Zach. And play for the Southeastern Conference Championship. Screen to Scott. Breaks a tackle down to the 15. They need to get inside the 12 for just from 32 yards. David has hit from 46. Missed from 50. This one sneaks through yeah. the right upright. Colt David is two for three. All time wins lead. Congratulations, coach. Caught on the run. Back to a wide open receiver. Somebody forgot about him. CC, you count on him one more time to get you the ball back. You need points. Todd rolls away from pressure, throws for the end zone. Man, oh, that's that. What a throw. Throw. This is why they changed the offense at Auburn. So people could not play him for the run all the time. And...
has tied it up and given his team the chance to take the lead, and they just got it. Air take it. If it's not, don't make a mistake. LaFell is the inside receiver. Instead, they go the other way. Incomplete intended for Chris Mitchell, but the ball was well under throw. Scrimmage. And they're only up one, so a field goal would beat them. Tate. Trying to get to the outside, cuts back, takes it up to the 28-yard line. It'll be well shy of a first down. Take to Scott. Throw to the outside, and that's complete to Jared Mitchell. And Mitchell, Terrence Tolliver with a good block as well. They go to Mitchell on the other side, same play. And same guy blocking, Brandon yep. LaFell leading the blocking. It looks playing for the field goal, although Lee is going to go back to throw here. Dangerous pass, got it out to LaFell, touchdown! Is this, a, is this is deja vu. Last year they needed a field goal to win. Less miles. And they threw to the end zone with nine seconds. Not a corner, and they turned it into a touchdown. What a game. Lee on a roll, throws to the corner of the end zone, incomplete. Off the timeout, 51 seconds left. A a win win coming. Wow. This time, he made up for it. What a burst. Ryder Cup and the Rays make history. Second and a half mile. See, again, this is where you kind of get a completion here, though, for about half the yardage anyway. Todd down the middle, had a man open and missed him. Here's the game for Auburn, fourth and 25. They've got to make it or it's over. Four-man rush. Todd running for his life. He's got to get rid of it. Throws on the run, and it's complete down to the 40-yard line. Sure. Rodriguez Smith makes the catch five yards. It was a remarkable effort on his part. Thing was also close to a hit out of bounds as he was right at the sideline. But I think it's a great no call. Six to twenty-one. What a game! Coming up next on ESPN. Stay.